Welcome to the first video of the Cybersecurity for Non-Techie Board Members video series. My name is Kelly, and I'm with the Community Development Unit of the Government of Alberta. The goal of this video series is to introduce the concept of cybersecurity to Board members and raise their awareness about the importance of organizational data and how they can reduce risks to that data. We realize that some of you may not be board members, and that's perfectly fine. However, we want to make you aware that the information, concepts, and ideas presented in this video series are from a board member perspective. It is important to note that this webinar focuses primarily on the governance aspects of cybersecurity for nonprofits. Because we here at the CDU are governance geeks and not information technology experts. Therefore, the information presented in this series and the related materials are not intended to constitute professional or legal advice, the rendering of professional or legal concepts, consulting or other professional services of any kind. We simply want to share with you information that we think will be helpful as you navigate your organization through its operations. We have a toolkit with links to other helpful resources related to cybersecurity that is in the description of the video. I also want to point out that these video recordings include some jargon related to the topic, so we developed a glossary that you can refer to during the recordings. The glossary is also in the description of the video. By the end of this video series, you will be able to explain what cybersecurity means and how it's related to the board, describe the oversight role of the board in cybersecurity, recognize risks associated with operating in a digital environment, explain categories of cyber risk and how boards can assess those risks, explain cybersecurity strategy and what the role of the board is in its development, and recognize that cybersecurity should be part of the strategic planning of nonprofit organizations. By the end of part one of this series, you will be able to explain what cybersecurity means and how it's related to the board and describe the oversight role of the board in cybersecurity. So let's get started. When you think about the word cybersecurity, many different ideas may come to mind. For example, confidential information, ransomware, protecting information, hacking, security, risk, cybersecurity budget, secure personnel records, and password management. Cybersecurity may mean lots of things to different people. So we're going to look at a definition of cybersecurity including what it is and what it is not. Cybersecurity means protecting electronic devices and electronically stored information. So that means that cybersecurity includes defending computers, servers, mobile devices, electronic systems, networks, and data from malicious attacks and unauthorized access. As we can see, in addition to protecting electronic devices, cybersecurity is also about the protection of information that is stored electronically. So when we talk about cybersecurity, we are automatically discussing digital information, systems, and networks. Now, another term that is closely associated with cybersecurity and one that is often used interchangeably, but it's actually not the same, is the term information security. Information security is the protection of information and information systems from unauthorized access, use, and disclosure, disruption, modification, or destruction in order to provide confidentiality, integrity, and availability. We tend to think of computers and digital information when we think about information security, but valuable information or valuable data is stored in many different forms. And that information can just as easily be stored in a filing cabinet or a safety deposit box at the bank as it is on an online database. 
protecting the information that an organization creates, uses, or stores, no matter what form it is in, is called information security. As you can see from this slide, cybersecurity is just one slice of the overall information security pie. Now, whether we are talking about information security in general, that is the entire pie, or just the specific slice that is cybersecurity, that is electronic devices and electronically stored information, we are basically talking about protecting information and assets of the organization, which brings us to the role of the board. The board has a specific role to provide active oversight in an organization. That is, board members ensure that they understand what is happening in the organization and why. This is a fiduciary duty of the board. Part of the board's duty of care is to ensure that the information a nonprofit collects and stores about its clients, donors, members, staff and volunteers, etc., is treated appropriately and kept safe. Another key role of the board is ensuring, developing, and conserving resources of the organization. This is about financial, human resources, and the organization's property, including its information and systems. This is about board members ensuring that they understand what resources the organization has, what resources the organization needs, and how to conserve and protect them, including the information that it collects. In addition to these two roles, the board also has a responsibility to manage risk and liability within the organization. Included in this responsibility is understanding what sorts of risk your organization is exposed to. Every organization faces risks, and it's good to understand what those areas are and what those areas mean for the liability of the organization. If your organization is engaged in some activities that have a certain level of risk, you may want to understand more about that risk and take steps to ensure that it is less likely to happen and reduce your liability. In other words, you will identify, rank, and manage the risks that your organization has. So now we are better able to connect the dots to see that in terms of the board's role related to cybersecurity, we're talking about managing risks to an organization's electronic devices and electronically stored information. And this boils down to an issue of risk management, which is an important responsibility of the board. Remember that there is a common misconception around cybersecurity, and many people think that it is only about information technology. But that's not strictly true. Cybersecurity is about the safeguards and actions you take to protect your nonprofit. Now let's talk about the role of the board in oversight of the cybersecurity status of the organization. And we'll start with an example of a cybersecurity activity in a nonprofit organization. As we talked about at the start of this video, cybersecurity is the protection of electronic devices and electronically stored information. This means that whatever digital systems you have in your nonprofit and whatever data that you store electronically, both are related to the overall cybersecurity status of the organization. For example, you may perform online fundraising, or you may store your donor's information on a laptop within your organization. These two activities are both examples that have a cybersecurity component. So as you can see from this definition and the example, there may be many projects, programs, or activities at your nonprofit that have a cybersecurity component. Therefore, as board members, it's important for you to be aware, in broad terms, of the various projects, programs, and activities within your organization that have a cybersecurity component. As we talked about, one of the main roles of board members is to provide active oversight of the resources and assets of the organization. Remember that active oversight is also part of your fiduciary duty as a board member, and one of the critical assets of your organization is its cyberspace. Your cyberspace includes all the electronic devices, systems, software, and or the information that you are storing electronically. 
Now, a breach or unauthorized entry into your cyberspace can present a risk to many aspects of your organization, including its reputation. So ensuring adequate cybersecurity is a key component of a board's oversight role. The board must ensure that sufficient resources, appropriate expertise, policies and practices are in place to safeguard the cyberspace of the nonprofit. Now, you might ask, how does the board ensure that it is exercising proper cybersecurity oversight? The answer is the board should take three main steps to ensure that it is exercising proper cybersecurity oversight. We created this graphic based on these three steps, and we call it the Cyber Risk Oversight Framework. I'm going to first give you a brief overview of this framework, and then we're going to take a closer look at the details of each of the three steps as we go through the three videos that make up this series. The first step is to learn where the cybersecurity risks and weaknesses are. In other words, the board should understand what and where the nonprofit's cybersecurity weaknesses and risks are, and consider what steps can be taken to reduce the possibility of a breach. This is the basis of everything you do in cybersecurity. The second step is to develop, update, and understand the cybersecurity strategy of the organization. Now you may ask, what exactly is a cybersecurity strategy and what does it do? We are going to discuss a sample cybersecurity strategy later in the series, but for now I'm going to ex briefly explain what a cybersecurity strategy is. A cybersecurity strategy consists of a high-level plan for how an organization will go about securing its assets and minimizing cyber risk. It's like a blueprint for your organization to guide the board, management, and other key stakeholders as your nonprofit and business environment evolve. This might sound very technical to you. However, the good news is that board members do not have to develop or update the cybersecurity strategy themselves. The board can delegate the development or update of the strategy to others who have expertise in this field. Board members only need to understand the strategy at a high level to know what measures are in place and if they make sense. This step is the risk management step in cybersecurity. The last step in our cyber risk oversight framework is get regular updates and support informed, reasonable investment in cybersecurity. This means that cybersecurity should be a regular and routine item on your board meeting agendas and should be regularly updated. Based on these regular updates, the board needs to support reasonable investment in cybersecurity to ensure the organization is protected. In the next video, we will discuss the different steps in the cyber risk oversight framework in more detail. This brings us to the end of the first video in the Cybersecurity for Non-Techie Board Members video series. Thank you for watching. Our contact information is on the screen and is in your toolkit as well. If you are in Alberta and have a question, need further information, or would like to request our services, you can contact us by email or phone. You can also access our website to know more about our resources and services. Also, if you want to be notified of our future services and resources, you can add your email address to our subscription form and you will receive updates as they become available. The link to the subscription form is in the description of the video as well. Thank you very much for your attention. Take care and always remember that our communities have so much more because of everything you do. Thank you and bye for now.